All right. So, um, I just wanted to take a minute before we get into today's topic and discuss the, where we have been and kind of give you an overview of um, a connection between all these different classes. So, we started with the very first week on comfort. We, we understood what comfort was, comfort is, and how we can stretch comfort. Because comfort um, directly impacts energy, high level of comfort, high energy uh, usage, right? So, EUI is a measurement of energy, energy consumption, energy use intensity. So, we looked at that, and we looked at how 2030 Challenge uh, wants us to reduce our energy use uh, intensity. We looked at all those things so far. And we looked at it from a much bigger uh, level, 30,000 feet, if you will. So we looked at fuel sources, how that impacts uh, our, de uh, our design decisions. So now, moving forward, what we're going to do right now on this uh, session this week is to go down to, say, a 1,000 feet level. We're not getting down to the, uh, the nuts and bolts of architecture yet. So we're still going to look at, look at it slightly above. Um, at, a, at a different level. So, the, so, the, uh, so the, the big question for today is, you've gone through and identified what your comfort is, and you know that impacts energy. So then you, have, you come up with the average energy use intensity. Can anyone, we're gonna have spot quizzes today. So can anyone tell me what, how do you find the average energy use intensity of a building? BTU divided by square footage. Correct. That, that will be for your design, correct? For your design, you will find the total energy consumption divided by your square footage. That will give you a UI for your design. But for the average building, what are the two numbers that you need to know? Zip code. Zip code and the square footage. So, so once you know that, then what do you do with that number? That's what we're going to talk about. So let's say you, you found that number. Let's say it's 45 for a school. Now, what do you do with that number through your design process? That's what we're going to talk about. And then um, um, in the future classes and sessions, we will talk about once we go past understanding the EUI, understanding our initial design CUI, and we'll talk about how to start, uh, how to find, figure out ways to start reducing our EUI to meet the 2030 challenge. But today, we'll talk about what to do with this EUI, big picture average EUI, average building EUI. Any questions, anyone? So you guys understand the relationship so far? Okay. 